Hello everyone. Today I thought I would show you my new top handled chainsaw. This is a still 150 TC. Um, this is how it arrives. No bar, no chain. You need to order. You need to order those separately. Um, first impressions on this when it comes out of the box. This has never been used, by the way. First impressions of just how light this thing is. Um, last week I was using a still, what was it 200 or 201, and um, I actually found that pretty heavy. It was almost as heavy as um, the 230 that I sometimes use when I'm up in the tree. Um, the other problem I found as well with um, the uh, the larger top handle chainsaws is that the um, the chain size is uh, is too big. One of the reasons I bought this was because the chain that actually comes with it is a quarter inch pitch chain. I'm going to hold this up. I don't know if you actually see that. You can see just how small, just how fine that actually is. I mean, the, the chain itself weighs absolutely nothing. Um, if you give, you give me a minute, I'll get my other saw. Now for comparison, this is the uh, this is the two thirty. This has a three inch, three eighths of an inch pico chain on. If I hold the two up there together, you can see just how small this is compared to a standard uh, chainsaw chain. One of the problems I was finding with the top handle chainsaw I was using was that. Um, it had a 3 8 of an inch pitch chain on it, but it just didn't have enough power to actually push the thing through um, the wood. Unless the chain was really sharp, you were finding that the chain was biting into the wood rather than cutting and it was pushing you back a lot. And when you're hanging from a harness, um, it's, not a very, uh, it's not a very good feeling, you don't feel very safe. So the main reason I bought this, even though the engine is slightly uh, smaller, I think you've only got one. I think one kilowatt of power on one horsepower of, uh, power on this. Um, the chain is actually much uh, chain is actually much smaller. So you're talking about a much smaller curve when you're cutting. So let's hope that uh, my thinking has been proved correct. Okay, let's um, let's get the thing put together. We'll remove the side cover. The strange thing about this is that the side cover doesn't, um, doesn't come off the way a normal side cover would do. It actually takes the, um, the chain brake handle with it. So it comes off like that. Leaving you with this. Now I've got a 12 inch bar. The thing I like about this is the nose is very uh, very fine. This is going to be ideal for pruning, for light pruning work. Now I know that this is a bit of a tight squeeze. So bear with me. We're going to go on that way. reasons that a spur sprocket on this. One thing I like about this chainsaw and also the uh, the other 441 which I got is that it does not have the um, oops, where are we? it does not have the worm gear adjust wheel it goes back to a, um, a more traditional tensioning system. The worm gear. Hold on, I'll get this fixed now. I'll talk about worm gears in a moment. The 
This is actually very fiddly. I'm used to dealing with bigger bars. This is very strange. I've got that tightened up quite tight there. fits into there. And this comes down and covers the actual chain and the bar. Okay. Too tight. There we go. That's right. I was seeing that um, the tensioning system. <laughs> Boy, this is this is very very uh, this is very light. Um, I was seeing the tensioning system on this is actually um, the traditional screw and um, nut system. This is much better than the uh, than the worm gear system that still use. This is a good idea in principle, but in practice, they're very, it's very difficult to adjust. Um, I much prefer this, so happy to see that back again. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Okay, from the back, we've got the it's not even a, it's not even a hook. Got the attachment for you to um, tie your carabiner on so you can uh, send this up to the trees. And some people complain that this is a bit flimsy, but this actually feels pretty, pretty robust to me. Okay, pretty, pretty basic air filter. Not much to say about that. We have um, high and low adjustment. We have idle speed adjustment screws. They're pretty standard. Not much to see. This is really small. You get a you get a surprise when you see just how small this thing actually is. Um, we have the uh, like the no tool filler caps. These are better now. Now I still have managed to actually improve the design a little bit. These actually close properly and they, they fit better. I didn't like them when they first came out about four or five years ago, first time I used them. Um, but these are actually much better. This, according to the uh, literature, is the TCE and it, um, it has an ergo start. Um, the, it doesn't have the traditional ergo start where the, the system actually stores the energy then releases it. This is just supposed to be easier to start. I'm not quite sure how that works but we'll, we'll find out. Prime bulb. We also have choke setting, that's choke closed, choke open. And I think the idea is that when um, when you start, when you actually start the saw, you close the throttle, and the throttle interlock. You move the running switch to full choke position, release the throttle, that holds there. Full choke. You turn it over at Lacoste, you then close that, turn it over at it runs, squeeze on the throttle, and you're in a running position. The other nice thing about this is the chain brake. That is very, very light. That's very easy to use. You're not going to have any problems with that. Again, I keep coming back to how just how fine this chain is. I think I'm going to be able to do some very um, 
some very accurate work with this but I think it's clear that um, you're not going to be able to wring this thing's neck and you're going to have to use it within its limitations. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be running my finger along the bar, but I'm actually going against the direction of the cutter, so that's okay. Right, then let's get the uh, safety kit on, let's go outside and we'll give this thing a go. Okay, so there we go. Right, then what's my opinion on this? Um, I'm pretty happy. That was uh, cutting through white beam, which is actually very hard wood, with no problem whatsoever. I wasn't too concerned about getting the cuts lined up. Um, I was just more concerned with seeing what the uh, what the saw would do. It feels as though there's actually more than enough power to drive that chain. I would like to try it with a with a larger chain. 
Um, I think if you keep this thing within its uh, limitations, if you don't try to operate it, um, there's always a full size saw. The cuts are extremely accurate. Um, it revs like um, it revs like you wouldn't believe. I found a problem with the uh, with the upper rev limit on some of the other top handle saws. Um, this thing really whips that chain around. So perhaps it hasn't got a lot of um, torque, but it puts out a lot of horsepower. It does a lot of work for you. Overall, very pleased. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll be back with something else before too long.